Hello and welcome to another Racky's Bears, Wines and Spirits review. Today, I'm going to be reviewing Frida um, from Black Sheep Brewery. It's, a cit uh, it's obviously got Citra in it because it says it on the front. Cal Citra, Galena and Summit, they must be the hops they've used. Uh, a triple hop pale ale, 4.2%. This Everly Aromatic Pale Ale is brewed with Citra, Summit and Galena hops. Light straw in colour with intense tropical fruit aromas. A clean yet complex palette and a crisp finish. We shall see. So, I've had this for a while. It's one of them that I bought and uh, I didn't really like, fancy the look of. But uh, like most beers, some of them that you don't fancy the look of actually turn out all right and then some turn out disastrous uh, this fella from yesterday oh my god will I never drink that again uh, the word yeah it was rancid beyond belief I used this glass earlier for a quick pint when I got home. I was in need of a pint. Been a long day at my new job and uh, I think I worked too chuffing hard. Could hardly walk when I got home. Uh, so, straw to golden in colour, massive carbonation and lace in there. Look at it going. A white head on it. Hoppy aroma, hoppy citrus aroma. All right, let's give it a drink, eh? Ooh. Citrusy in taste. Um, Not sure what I truly think of it at the moment. So, um, someone here has uh, reviewed it. 3.6 out of 5 they've given it, which is a good score for, um, you know, a beer review website. Let's look at the overall. Overall, not too bad. A pleasant pale ale with some good hop character. Looks alright, while the aroma and flavour showcase fruity herbal hops, ale yeast and light malt. Body is okay, shame about the diacetyl, whatever that is, and it lacks depth, drinkable nonetheless and will be great on a hot day, worth sampling. That's just, that just describes every beer on the market, I think, worth sampling, you know, they're all worth sampling. I mean, um, yeah, it's got a long date on it. It's actually out of date, June. We we'll must do some checking on dates with some of these beers. I didn't tell it that long either. I'm sure, I got it from Morrison's as well. So maybe Morrison's had a, had a few in that they found and put it on the shop floor. Ew. Yeah, so not, not where it says intense. Well, you know, they make me laugh some of these uh, beer. I mean, I do like Black Sheep Brewery to be fair, so I don't want to slag them off too much. But where they say intense, are you drinking? You think, what was intense about that? You know, uh, Sadler's another great brewery. They bought that a beer called Hop Bomb, and uh, I don't know where the bomb was, unless it was in the factory, because it certainly wasn't in the beer. Um, It's um, pleasant is the word I'm looking for. I must remember that the camera's there. Yeah, it's pleasant. I wouldn't say it was anything amazing. Um, not one of Black Sheep's uh, strongest efforts. You know, it is what it is, I suppose, really. Um, it fills the summer drinks category, you know. That's um, a light beer after work like I'm doing there. 
um, something nice on a summer's day and uh, yeah it's definitely that type of beer you know it's um, it's just sessionable quaffable um, it's not amazing it's not you know where it says it's a triple hot pale ale um, I, I'm not getting the abundance of hops that I would expect to get you know especially when they put intense on the back uh, it's not coming through that way you know it's the aroma is not overly strong, um, and nor is the taste. You know, it's uh, it's kind of muted, and uh, there's been quite a few of them lately. You know, muted. Although I don't want to slag Adnams off, but that that was intense in all the wrong ways that you could ever dream of. Um, yeah, not be having that again. Whew, no chance. But um, yeah, it's. It's just, it's okay. Nothing special, just okay. Uh, would it be worth you drinking it? Yeah, you know, to add to your beer uh, creds, as it were, it's worth a go. But, I mean, there's a bit of bitterness in the background. There's a tad mole in there to balance the hops. But the hops, for me, just aren't powerful enough, you know, so, um, a bit of a boring uh, beer, really. Nothing special in that, in any way, shape, or form. Um, yeah. Hmm. Not a boat floater, shall we say? Float the boat. Um, so, straw to gold in colour. Plenty of carbonation and lace in there, all that stuff. No wonder my belly's bubbling. White um, head. Muted hops on the taste and citrus. And same in the aroma. Bitter malt in there. It's crisp. It is refreshing to a point. But um, bland. You know, I'm just going to say it's bland. Uh, I didn't overly rate it um, so not many times do I give black sheep actually you know a poor score especially when Rig Walter is an absolutely fantastic beer you know um, but yeah so out of five I'm gonna give it um, Maybe about 3.6 out of 5. I, I can't see any uh, going any stronger than that, you know. it. Uh, and 3.6 by my standards is low, you know. I, I don't score many beers too low. Although a review I did yesterday got the lowest score so far. Yeah, broke the bank, that did. Um, yeah, not, um, not very interesting. Right, thanks for watching. See you soon.